When you and your wound was having sweet time, you heard some noises from outside and conversation of two people. Your wound who was sitting on your lap also looked at the direction that you were looking. Your body trembled and you held your wound tightly. No, don't let them see each other. Jenny immediately came to her sense and ran forward to block to Coley Mansell. Joan interrupted Joan, who frowned unhappily. What are you doing? Get out of the way. He looked at her serious and coldly. No, no, she shook her head and opened her arms. Why to block him as if she could? She had promised you. Joan interrupted Joan. Fine, sad. You to wait downstairs. After five minutes, she will go downstairs to look for Director Joan. Five minutes, he narrowed his eyes dangerously. I have given her enough time. She still wants to bargain with me. He sneered. Jenny was turned to see his handsome face. He is indeed really handsome man that no one could resist him. He frowned even deeper, looking at women's anxious face. His expression turned gloomy and sad coldly. I will say it one time more. Such a cold case made her legs tremble and swallowed saliva that she couldn't just give away. The moment she is going to get her death certificate, the lawn's door cracked open and you walked out with your ugly expression. I just want five minutes. Do you really have to make things difficult for Jenny? You closed the door behind rubbing your forehead and looked at him coldly. He walked to you. What's wrong? I feel a little dizzy. Her voice was hollow. Feeling dizzy? You nodded. He pulled you into his arms. Why didn't you call me if you were not feeling well? You tried to push him. Why would I call you? I just want to rest for a while, but you didn't let me do so. Although he was pushed away by you, his inch black eyes are full of concern as he grabbed your wrist. Okay, let's go inside the launch. Your heart raced as he cracked open the door of launch. I I want to go home. You stopped him and peeked inside. You saw your wound sitting on the sofa with headphones on. Playing with your notebook, you put your hand on his neck, pretending to feel dizzy, and staggered. His brows knitted tightly and bent down to pick you up. Let's go. Jenny has to see this melodrama express show for her. In a front row, Chungu carried you out of office. He made gesture to her, telling to take care of your wound. Jenny also responded, mouthing, don't worry. After you walked out of the office, your expression immediately changed. Put me down. I can walk by myself. You didn't resist him before because you wanted to get rid of his wariness. If your wound sees Jungkook or Jungkook sees your wound, it will be boom on you. He ignored your resistance. You were worried about being seen in this condition by your employees. But Jungkook doesn't care about it. When you started to struggle, he scolded you being stubborn. Even you were unwell. About dizziness, you actually lied to him to leave as soon as possible. Before your wound searches for you, thinking about how you saw that dangerous situation back in the launch, your wound saw your puzzled face and became clueless. Mommy, who aren't you talking with? He blinked his innocent eyes. His mom is blind. Can your wound sat here for a while? I will go and discuss work with my client, okay? He nodded and thumbs up. He put him on the sofa and hand him headphones and notebook to play his favorite games. You wanted to spend your all time with him? My good boy, he wagged his head and looked at the door somehow being mad. This man always troubling you. You give him some valid reason to let you walk out of the elevator. He told, even if you want to hug me and carry around, don't do here. It will leave bad influence to my employees. So let me walk to the car, okay? You give him puppy eyes. How could he reject it? 
immediately do as you wish and let you walk further quickly and settle yourself in the passenger seat by the time you get into the car you have already passed just your seat belt and look at him let's go he urged him to drive this woman was indeed very difficult to deal with than he had imagined he parked the car at the residential area's parking lot and he thought of something and looked at him he didn't eat anything today there is no response for a while then he nodded you really stayed without eating till now what's wrong do you want to cook for me you felt like you had gone a little overboard he stayed opposite side of your apartment and was taking care of you during your fever but when you wake up you lost your temper at him you felt like you were being bad human i can't cook now how about i treat you to a meal he wanted to say that he would eat whatever you cooked personally but thinking about you had fever he couldn't let you do so he nodded in agreement after discussion he decided to order a meal and went to take elevator upstairs when elevator was about to close you heard anxious female voice asking for elevator wait a moment wait a moment you immediately spread hand between door to reopen it then let lady in girl smiled and walked in thank you i thought i wouldn't be able to catch up she also lived under residential apartment but you barely know people here she smiled politely but her smile froze when she saw a man beside you she still remember when they first met in the same elevator how she tried to interact but he coldly said her to get lost she lowered her eyes at the same moment some fat uncle ran into elevator you felt like someone pulled you to the side and heard a bang sound it's fatty uncle who dumped into the elevator wall with his force fatty uncle accidentally hit the girl and she shout a little i'm sorry i saw that elevator door is closing my wife is waiting so i ran past you process the things and smile chungkook's hand is around your arms it seems like he's embracing you from behind when the girl see this she was really surprised like the person who she met last time was not the guy who would be tender with any woman it's completely different person he had clearly protecting and hugging the woman in his arms looking soft and concerned she looked at you with envy you didn't expect this the moment you knew was already encircled in man's one She smiled at Fatty Uncle and said him to be careful next time. You felt man pull you to him by your waist as he whispers. It's been so long. Why didn't I see you smile at me? But you're smiling to others so brightly. Your smile froze. You didn't expect him to complain right now. Both people stared at you to making you embarrassed as you cough lightly but didn't say anything. When Chungkook didn't get response, he held your waist in dissatisfaction and looked up sharply. Your husband looks very fierce. Chungkook's gaze softened after hearing Fatty Uncle's words as he smiled, more like smirk. You have a good eye. You pursed your lips. What to say? Girl looked annoyed. Fatty Uncle laughed. Your husband is quite funny. He actually admitted it. You really wanted to tell Fatty Uncle that how could Jungkook admit it he was fierce that good eye was directly Fatty Uncle's old husband you resisted the urge to roll your eyes girl didn't even raise her head anymore when the elevator door opened she walked out quietly but Fatty Uncle stood there foolishly smiling watching couples Jungkook raised his eyebrow and remained coldly yours are also here Fatty uncle was really lost in his young days so he almost forget that he should be rushing to his wife so he walked out as well and turned to look back young man be gentle to your wife of course he knows when to be gentle to his women and when to go he forced a smile to fatty uncle 
as elevator door closed you elbow his stomach not heavily but surely it will definitely give him some pain his grip loosened on your waist and laughed lightly rubbing his stomach but again come closer and whispers hey honey i'm hungry are you sick your tone sounds like you're angry but when he said it in beside your ear your cheeks burn hot the street is hot that you felt itchy but you stuck on his foot behind he groaned when he felt your heel stop he's poking his shoes it's devastating for sure you thought he will let you go after you stepped but as i arrange he increased his strength on your waist instead you struggle it's little ticklish let's go you squeeze yourself to turn around between his arms your hand unexpectedly brush on his armpit he immediately back away caught your hand caressed his inner arms at the same time a little open and rushed out before he could chase after you you went to open the door and was about to walk in but turned back to see man coming out of elevator after fixing himself thinking how he took care of you while you're sick you felt that you shouldn't ignore it him so you invite him come in i will order for us he walked closer and entered the apartment together then you went to change shoes when you bent down he saw a dent on his sock you carefully weighed it as if it was where you stepped on his foot by your high heel it should be very painful right you quietly placed your brother's slippers for him and put your shoes on the shoe rack he finally wore it and about to put his shoes but narrowed his eyes there is a empty row last time there was child's shoes did you put away all the shoes you nodded without hesitation and take out your phone what do you want to eat anything he followed you he couldn't help but wonder where your child would be if you are here now it had been 5 years if the child is your ex husband's in jungkook's thought then it should be 4 or 5 years by now it should only reached his knees right thinking of this a small figure unconsciously appeared in his mind he had met little guy in the kim mansion the day of banquet thinking how the little do talk with him and the way his belly eyes shine he felt a strange feeling spreading in his heart he covered his heart with his hand and looked at the woman who was taking orders could it be the child is anything then i will order according to my own taste we were busy choosing food that we didn't saw the man's expression only then you raised your head when he held your hand why in that that day of banquet i met small child is it yours suddenly your heart started to panic when this man mentioned about child did he acknowledge it already he looked at your face he knew that you were not good at playing he will always found out if you are telling the truth or not just how clean this woman's expression in front of him at this moment even your heart is racing fast you still decided to keep your face calm on surface there were so many people attending the banquet that day and there were so many people with children you saw one and thought it's mine you turned around and walked towards the living room wait a moment he grabbed your shoulder and turned you around where is child who is child your child your hand clenched around phone you keep away his things and shoes and didn't let me see you expected this already he didn't let you see he smiled mockingly you know it's my ex husband's child if you see him will you able to tolerate this counter attack made him choke and unable to say anything your mood is not good go and sit there to wait take out don't disturb me you rooted again to go and fresh but again he attached with you like leech wait you had lost your all patience this time are you done or not you don't want to eat then go back to your own room i will eat by myself 
He grabbed your wrist that was holding phone and cancelled it out. You are sick. You can't eat these things. You should eat something light now. Your lips parted, but you didn't say anything. Originally, he wanted to continue asking about child, but he changed the topic seeing your bad mood. You thought that he will order light food for you and something tasty for him, but didn't expect him to order porridge only. Think about eating tasteless or light food and accompanied by Jones, CEO, unexpected. I don't like this. You wanted to protest, but he raised his hand up. Don't you want to eat? You try to mini jump to get phone, but he's so tall. Are you concerned about my feelings? Of course. After all, you are treating him and he should eat something that suits his taste bud. If he eat only rice soup, wouldn't he dislike it? I said I would treat you to meal to express my gratitude. Naturally, I have to take care of your thoughts and opinion. Moreover, treating others to a meal can't be too shabby, right? He looked at you, narrowing his brows. Fine, I'm not someone else. I'm not a stranger. I'm your husband. You glanced at him and stopped then turned away. No, not before, not now.